patient is prescribed 600 micrograms of a drug. So six, oops, 600 micrograms is the prescription, so that is our want. Drug is supplied, so supplied, indicating our have, as two milligrams per mil. And here we have a concentration, the slash showing us the ratio, but also two milligrams per invisible one mil, meaning each one mil contains two milligrams. That invisible one that we have to make visible to make sure we are clear and we identify the two quantities in our head. So let's see the question. How many mils will the nurse give to the patient? Right. So if we decide to use the box method, same thing as usual, start with the have, be consistent. So we have to enter the two quantities of our have here, the two milligrams in one mil, and we have to enter the one single quantity of our want, which is 600 micrograms. 600 micrograms is actually not matching 100%, but I see it's in the family of grams. So it would be sitting here, 600 micrograms. It's not a crime to write it here, but I, I know I cannot go ahead with the calculation or the estimation until I get these two units written in the same, um, same one unit. So what would be easier to change milligram into microgram or microgram into milligram? What we talked about before was we are always using the gram dot dot. We don't need the names of those two there. Milligram dot dot microgram. So it doesn't matter which one we change, but usually if we change the bigger one into the smaller one, it will mean maybe no decimal point, which makes calculations even in our heads a lot easier. So I would suggest we always look at the bigger unit, not the bigger quantity, sorry, not the bigger number, but the bigger unit. So in compare milligram and microgram, I would start with milligram because one milligram has a thousand micrograms. Um, so what would we say here? From milligram to microgram, we go one, two, three. Three decimal places, and I'll do that again, because it's actually not in between. We sit, we, we start like a walk from here, stop on the next one, stop, stop. And again, so we can say one, two, three, meaning 10, 100,000. So we multiply by a thousand because we are going from the larger to the smaller. Or we simply move the decimal point three places to the right. So I said I was going to change this two milligrams. So I'm going to remove the two milligrams from there. And I'm going to write it here, two milligrams, two. Where is the invisible decimal point there? It will be sitting just after the two, just like two dollars, two dollars, zero cents. That's where the point sits. If I put the point somewhere else, it will be a different number uh, altogether. So from here, we have to go three places to the right. One, two, three. Or for the ones of you who prefer, two multiplied by a thousand, two thousand. Fill those gaps with zeros, final quantity, 2,000 micrograms. So that's what I will write in here. Instead of two milligrams, 2,000 micrograms. I could even have drawn a new box perhaps, just to have it all really tidy. So what would we do now? Estimation first, always. So we have here, and maybe it would be nice to actually have just our box again. So we know we've done the thinking now. So our have being the 2000 micrograms 
in one mil and our want being the 600 micrograms. So for the sake of estimation, what happens here? The 2000 goes down to 600. So it means it was divided by something. Divided by two would give us a thousand. It's hard to work with 600 because it doesn't go evenly into 2000. So we could pretend that 600 was 500 here. So 2000 going down to 500, let's say 2000 divided by two is 1000, divided by two again, 500. So we divided by two twice. So we actually divided by four. So it's roughly a quarter, or we can say divide by four. The same would need to happen with the one mil. So one mil divided by four, one divided by four, one whole divided by two is a half. Half is 0 0.5. Divided by two again is one quarter. 0 0.5 divided by two is the same as 0 0.50 divided by two, 0 0.25. So we are expecting 0 0.25 mils as our answer. As an estimate, I have to correct myself because we didn't use the 600, we used 500 for our estimate, which gives us a good um, um, way of checking our final answer. So let's see what happens here. Multiply the main diagonal. So what we have here is one mil multiplied by 600 micrograms. Sorry, I'm not writing in full, just for lack of space there. Divided by the third number, which is 2000 micrograms. So what happens here? The micrograms cancel out and all we have to do is one times 600 is 600. So we go to the calculator, 600 mils divided by 2000. And I know some of you will even maybe cancel some of those zeros, two on the top, two on the bottom. So you would end up with one times six over 20. And if you like fractions, you could say six twentieths and simplify to three tenths. And then three tenths is exactly 0 0.3, which the calculator would have given us as anyway. We know the answer has to be in mils because of the position in the box, but also because what I had left here in the calculation. Check the 0.3 mils with our estimate. 0 0.3 is the same as 0 0.3, and I could imagine an invisible zero there. So it's really close, 0 0.3 or 0 0.30, 0 0.25. So let's read the question again. How many mils would the nurse give to the patient? 0 0.3 mils. Right, so maybe what we could uh, try and do is solve the same problem now using just the formula method. So same as before, the want is 600 micrograms, the have is two milligrams per one mil. So we would write want over have times the third quantity, which is mils probably in this case. I suggest you always write the formula anyway to make sure you never have um, those two quantities uh, inverse there. So want, we want 600 micrograms. On the bottom, we have two milligrams. So we could say, well, which quantity do I use, milligram or mil? Well, these two are not matching just yet, but at least they are in the family of grams. So we had to use the two milligrams on the bottom multiplied by the third quantity so 600 gone two gone what's left that very light one mil here we go so we cannot proceed with the calculation until we change the units we talked about this before which one do we change i'll stick to the idea that it's easier if we change from left to the right. So in this case, we change the milligrams, knowing that we have to multiply by a thousand, one, two, three, or T 
fifteen hundred thousand or simply move the decimal point so we would do 600 micrograms divided by 2 micrograms multiplied by 1 mil whoops not 2 2 times we just need to fix that 2 multiplied by a thousand or 2 for the decimal point moved 3 places to the right will give us 2,000 micrograms. So 600 over 2,000 to make an estimation, probably a good thing here would be to cancel two zeros on the top and two on the bottom. Six out of 20, five out of 20, there are four fives in 20. So five out of 20 is the same as one quarter. One quarter is half of a half. So half of 0 0.5, 0 0.25. So that's the estimate again, just seen in a different way. The micrograms cancel out and we are going to be left with mils. So using the calculator, 6 divided by 20 or the full 600 divided by 2000, it's all proportional. The answer will come out the same, 0 0.3 mils.